Hello Pixel Gunners and welcome to another English Pixel Gun 3D video from Pixel Gun Pro. As always when I'm making English videos let me start by saying that I am Danish and I do not speak English on a regular basis so please bear with me if my English is a little funny. One of our viewers has asked me to review the Dead Star from the backup category and that is what we are about to do. I have actually never played with the Dead Star before so my gameplay might not be so good. I don't record a lot of gameplays when I make my videos so what you see is actually just my regular gameplays. I don't, re I don't record 10 gameplays and then choose the best. So the Dead Star can be used for rocket jumping, just like the plasma releaser, the nuclear revolver and other area damage weapons. But you, you do take some damage while rocket jumping with the Dead Star. So I would recommend the Demolition Cape UP2 if you rocket jump a lot and you want to use the Dead Star for that. It has some pretty decent area damage. If you hang on and watch the whole video, you can see exactly how many hits it takes to take out a full armored player and how much area damage it really has. It's a little like the nuclear revolver and the portable death moon. When you hit, when you press fire, you almost hit the target instantly. This is a coins only weapon as far as I remember. And it's actually pretty cool to play with. The dead star is actually also pretty cool to look at. And I think that the reloading is pretty cool too. The efficiency is 24, fire rate 83, the capacity is 5 and you will notice that I am on the hunt for ammo always. And this is just like with the nuclear revolver. And the fireball spell you need to take your time to collect ammo if you want to use the dead star as your primary weapon the mobility is 120 so you have so you have the weapon with one of the best mobilities in the whole game but as i said before you will need some ammo because it takes a couple of shots to take out a full armored player if you're not wearing anything. We will take a look at that later in the video. I will show you how you can increase the weapon damage from the dead star. It's very similar to the nuclear revolver. The nuclear revolver has two more shots in the chamber, but a little lower efficiency. And the nuclear revolver shoots a little faster. It has a fire rate on 92. My setup right now while uh, playing is the Burning Tyera hat, the Demolition Mask UP2 full armor, the Demolition Cape UP2 and Berserk Boots UP2. Two. And I'm, in, I'm wearing the Berserk Boots and the Demolition Mask while because I am jumping a lot. As you can see, I am, I, I'm not that fast. I will show you how you can be way more, get way more speed with this weapon. I think that the animation the area damage and the emason, the purple, you can see on the screen is actually also pretty cool. All in all, 
I, uh, I like this gun, but since it takes some shots to take out a full armored player, ammo is the biggest problem. So I cannot give this gun my best recommendation, but in a scale where 10 is the best, I would actually give this gun 8. So I, I think that's pretty pretty decent. And this is one of the only weapons in Pixel Gun 3D that is actually worth the money. I think a lot of the gems weapons is very very overpriced and I myself have spent a lot of money buying weapons and in 50% of the cases I have been very disappointed. I maybe have 50 weapons, 60 weapons that I have bought and I only use 5 or 6 of them on a regular basis. So this weapon is definitely worth the cost. So if we take the price with into consideration, it will get 10 out of 10. This is not a gun I would recommend for rocket jumping, but you can use it for rocket jumping, but it takes some of your... It does have some self damage like all other weapons, but a backup weapon that is far better for rocket jumping is the plasma releaser. So this is not a weapon you would use to rocket jump a lot around all the time, but it can be used. As you can see, every time I respawn, I actually do have a pretty amount of ammo, but to take out a full player, you more or less will have to empty the whole clip. So ammo, that is my biggest concern about using this weapon. I like to play, just, you know, going after the other players, and I actually don't like spending time on picking up ammo and health. But this is a part of the game, so stop complaining, yes? Okay, I'm sorry. So, please remember to like and subscribe to this video. In the description down below, you can find links to our forum, our Pixelgon 3D forum. It's a brand new forum on Google and a brand new Facebook page. Also, please follow us there. In the following month, we have some great, great plans for our viewers. And I'm very, very excited to announce it. I hope that I can announce it in a month or so, but this will be pretty, pretty cool. So, the next gameplay, I only have half a gameplay, my screen recorder is teasing me a little, but this is the last half gameplay I recorded with the Dead Star. After that, we go to, we go to, as always, when we are reviewing weapon, we are very thorough. I think this is... This is our, how can you say that? This is our brand. And um, I will show you the area damage on this weapon. I will show you what you can do to get more movement speed and how much it takes out to take out a full armored player. If you want to use this weapon, I actually recommend that you use the Oxbad code also, because this is a weapon that is great for rocket jumping. Do it is when you hit the fire button, you hit the target. So this is very, very good weapon when you're in the air on a jetpack or something like that, especially due the wide area damage. Compared to the portable Death Moon, this has a way bigger area damage. The nuclear revolver has a little wider area damage, but not much. All in all, a great weapon. And it's a long time ago I bought this weapon and I actually never used it before, but I'm pretty sure it's coins only.
and I have made a custom server and I want to show you my setup so let us on a quick anything that can give the dead star some extra damage so our opponent over here he's wearing full armor but nothing else so let us try to give him a couple of shots four shots to take out a full armored player let us try to see if this is an area damage weapon so remember that you cannot do headshots four shots to take out a full armored player so what you can do is you can equip yourself with the burning tie era the great samurai helmet the king's crown or the serious man's hat let us try to do that this is the reloading time we don't need that you can also equip yourself with the hitman cape up2 and the hitman boot up2 oh and i of course forgot we should of course take the no we don't need to so as you can see now my movement speed is pretty 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 awesome and the cape increases weapon damage from backup category the hat also increases backup weapon damage the hitman boot increases the armor supplies and movement speed so now you have the perfect setup but let us see if this helps us two shots it still takes four shots so the extra weapon damage is not that much it is due that this is a weapon with such a high efficiency that you won't notice let me try to show you the area damage let's go around here let me just change my boot so I can jump a little higher and show you the area damage how much let me try to hit there as you can see that hit him that also hurt him that also hurt him and he died of four shots area damage shot that is pretty cool actually because then you don't have to hit the target so close let me try again let's try to hit there one two three and four he is out that was the setup you could use and how you get extra weapon damage remember that even though it still took four shots to take him out while we were equipping that extra backup gear if you are taking on a player with not so much health it does affect that so you can easily take out more players as you can see it shoots pretty pretty fast if you're just holding that fire button inside and the reloading that's pretty pretty cool too but let us not forget weapon damage let me remember nope 
there was nothing there. You can of course use the... Oh, I only have some of the Hitman mask, but let me try to show you how fast it's reload. You can see it goes a little faster. So, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and let us do a jog rocket jump with this weapon, as you can see. Now let me take on the Demolition Cave UP2. As you can see, you will take some self-exploding damage. We can't jump very high in this um, arena, Colosseum or what it is. We can't jump very high. But you can use it for rocket jump. Thanks for watching.